hi guys welcome to this video so in this video we are going to create this angle using video parametry so let's get started so first of all uh, let me just select the working directory where I have to store my design here so let's choose this as my working directory and let's click on new and click the default template and let's rename our part as hangar oops sorry hangar underscore okay, parts okay good so then our template as a moment as parts for it abs okay okay so uh, here like they have shown like this is this is a kind of uh, sketch like uh, it's like a logo like uh, like a drawing they have shown uh, inner dia on the like inner values and the outer values but I just want to create this as a single profile and then I just want to do a sweep feature for this okay I don't know whether this will work or not but uh, anyway like we have to do this right so um, let me just create this profile first of all um, based on my front view so let's go for the front sketch and let's go for the sketch view so first of all uh, let me just have a trial look whether this will work or not one minute okay Okay, I just want to verify whether we can sweep this. Oops. Okay. Okay, this can be sweeped right. Um, but here we may have some edges here, but that's fine anyway. This will have definitely. This will have some kind of. Uh, oops. Let's delete this and start our sketch. Okay. Front plane sketch and then sketch view. So here, I think uh, this is a kind of uh, base point for our path. So um, I'm gonna place this point first of all. Okay. So from here to the bottom of value 26 with an angle of 133. Okay. So Let's draw, uh, or else like, uh, let's draw a constructive line. Okay, like this. And this height, this will be 26. Okay, so then, from the midpoint, we have to draw two lines up to the mark of plus line with an angle of 133. So let's draw a line. like this and like this so dimensions from here till here this will be 133 and from here till here this will be 133 that should be divided by 2 okay this is the midpoint right so then we can able to delete these lines and then let's join this by drawing a line like this okay then what else is okay we need to create some radius cut for this also and they have given the value of 3 for the offset and for the bottom also they have not mentioned like I think this will be the same as 30 sorry 3 right mm, oops, like you can see here this is typically 5 okay either we can add 2.5 as a midpoint and then we can do a sweep of a circle radius sorry diameter as 5 okay so here I'm not sure whether I can do this or not okay okay let me just add a 2.5 value for this okay good thing um, plus 2.5 okay that's fine and then this radius value as 3 and the opposite like it will be 3 okay. so um, sorry flat 
this one and this one. Three, okay. And directly, I'm just going to mirror this because sometimes this may not work. Okay, okay, mirror. Okay, here we have some issues. Okay. This. Arc. Equal. Good thing. So the next thing is like we have completed up to this part. So from here we need to create this. Like oh, it's like a question mark, right? So we have to do this. So first of all, let's place this point and this point. So this point will be 22.5 height from this line okay 22.5 so let's place a point here and this will be 22.5 okay and one more point here this will be 17 offset from this point with a height of 3 and this will be 17 and this will be 3 okay so the next point here is 8.5 uh, 8.5 yeah okay 8.5 point here uh, like this this will be 8.5 okay we have placed these three points right so we can directly uh, first of all we need to draw a circle of this one so this will be radius of 10.5 so let's draw a circle this will be uh, 10.5 that should be multiplied by 2 for the diameter right they have given the radius value so then okay so then okay like we have to find the mid value right uh yes Okay, whether we have to change the value or else. okay that's fine at last we can do this okay so this from this point like radius of 2.5 okay um, I think whether like, this will merge Five, 5 would be the diameter value so then anyway it may have some joining points here okay that's fine so the next thing is from here like we need to draw an arc with a radius of 15 okay so let's draw one more circle like this and this will be 30 Okay. okay okay that's fine mm, the inner will be 30 so the outer point that will be different okay. outer, outer and outer so we can join these right okay yep we can but um yeah okay because uh, i think this is 21 this is 30 10.5 uh, 17 this is 17 okay i don't know why these two are not uh, in intersection position okay okay like uh we don't have to worry about that because this outer will merge with this but the inner side that will near that's need to be come on the other side okay so this will be five right so let's draw one more circle and that should be 40 okay and okay one more circle like this and this should be uh, Okay, 21 so 31 
Okay, so then. Twenty one is the outer right. Okay. For this and for this, sorry, like this should be minimized by five. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I think I'll come up with uh, some ideas here like from here till here okay anyway like we have come up with a single profile here okay that's fine so here i'm just going to draw a circle like intersecting with these points here like this and like this okay so now i'm just going to delete all this like this, like this, like this. Okay, and outer circles. Okay, this one, we need this one. I can delete this. Delete this, delete this. Delete this one. Okay, so that's all guys. We have done this. So now we can directly join this circle from this point. Okay, I think you guys can understood that. So uh, first of all, let me just delete this point and uh, we need this to be intersection. That's fine. So I'm just going to place a point in midpoint here and point here. Okay, so arc Okay, like we um, can make this as a coincident feature first of all Let's try this Okay, this can't be coincident Okay So we have entered the same values, right? Uh, this dimension is of uh, 17.26. That's fine because that will be the center point. And here also, this will be 17. Yeah, around 17 because. Okay, so this will be 21. So. Okay, so. Um, 21 that should have an offset of 5 so 2.5 so 19 18.5 yeah 18 okay like uh, let me just delete this I think the circle needs to be bigger so let me just edit the diameter first of all so 10.5 is the radius for like this will have a radius so then plus 2.50 so that will be the um, midpoint value of the offset okay so this value like this is the radius value that should be multiplied by 2 oops multiplied by 2 okay even now we have some Problems are okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, 10.5 that should be multiplied by 2. Then this should be subtracted by 2.5. Okay, 18.5. Yeah, so this is the one we need this as a diameter. Okay, good. Then. Okay. So um, we can directly join this, but here we have an intersection point, right? So from here we can able to directly draw an arc out of this. Okay, good. So now let's delete this and delete this 
can delete this on this one too this one and okay it's drawn arc okay let's delete this okay sorry I just want to place a point here okay let's delete this delete this and this one and this one so here let's try to make this as a tangent this would be Sundin. Mm. Okay, three. Um, let me just check this. Okay, can we read this? This will be 15. Okay, we can change this. Okay, let's read this first of all. Okay, so let's draw a center and end arc. Tangent Okay, here we have Okay, it's fine, but let we can change that again. So let's ready this and Okay dimension Okay. Mm. Yeah, let me just change this first of all. 14. Okay, now we have a intersection here. Okay, that's fine. So, um, center and its ends arc. Okay, that's fine. So then, place a point in here and then let's delete this. Okay, I think this should be um, come somewhat down or yeah, a little bit down. So let's place point somewhere like this. Let's delete this. Okay, so we have done this and we have a joint here. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's check. Let's check by sweeping head sweep okay we can't sweep this i think so let's try let's try let's try okay let's try this is a different thing so sweep and this one friends mm, yep If you can't able to create a new body, that's fine. Okay, let's sketch it this first one and then we can directly go for the next thing. Okay, this will be let's have a value of five first of all, and then let's see if this is fine or not. Five, okay, that's fine. So the next thing is like we have to sweep this one. Sketch, sketch view, and here also the same circle with the diameter value of five. Okay, I think this works good, right? Okay, so this is the thing that we need, right? Now we have a good joint. Uh, yeah. That looks that looks extraordinary okay so then what else like here we need to have rounded edges okay either we can go for the 
full drum. Get rolling ball. That's fine, but this one and this one. Okay, full drum. So this for this, like we need to have a. Like we need to have some square parts right for the curved parts we can't do this so like let's start like this and like I think I've confused myself so let's go for the hole again sorry round let's make this okay 2.5 throw that's fine Okay, so we have completed this part. So let's give some appearances. We just hide all these stratum planes, view, appearances, and for the appearances, I just want to give some different color. Either we can go for the green. Okay, let's edit this. This into paint. Let's give some metallic. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. Let's increase. The Okay, so that's all guys. So thanks for watching and if you want more videos that mechanical engineering or any other content you can comment below So that's all guys. So th that's all for this video. So We will see next video with a very very interesting content until then bye